Today we're going to be turning all of this into the best nacho topped macaroni cheese you've ever seen. Hi there guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be aiming for the ultimate of comfort foods. So first we have to start with making the chilli. You'll need two whole red onions that are actually purple and one whole stick of celery, three cloves of diced garlic, 400 grams of minced beef, three medium diced tomatoes, one green and one yellow pepper diced, two anchovy fillets, one large can of crushed tomatoes and magically appearing from nowhere, 250 grams of tomato sauce. Then bringing all that across to the stove in a hot pan with a touch of olive oil, throw in the onions and celery and garlic. Sweat them off for a couple of minutes and then throw in your ground beef, making sure the pan is really hot. Season well with salt and pepper Make sure we get a nice amount of colour on this beef before we add in the rest of the ingredients. So then throw in your anchovies, all your peppers and your tomatoes. Give that a quick stir before adding in a teaspoon of dried oregano, then 200 grams of chopped tomatoes and the 250 grams of tomato sauce. Give that another stir and bring it back to the boil. We're going to be cooking this out for at least an hour and a half on a low simmer to let all them flavours get to know each other. And don't forget to throw in your dried chilli flakes. About a teaspoon's worth will be perfect. So then moving straight onto the macaroni and cheese, we're gonna start by making our bechamel. So throw in 30 grams of butter, wait until that's all melted, and then throw in 30 grams of flour. Make sure you keep it moving in the pan so it's not burn the flour. And we're just gonna be cooking this out for a couple of minutes just to get rid of that raw flour taste before adding in your choice of 750 milliliters of milk. You wanna incorporate the milk into the flour mixture a little bit at a time to stop it from becoming lumpy. So make sure all the milk has been incorporated into the mixture before adding any more and you should end up with a nice, smooth, creamy bechamel. So we're just gonna season with a touch of cracked black pepper, some nutmeg, and some smoked paprika. And then we're gonna throw in 400 grams of freshly grated mozzarella cheese. Give that a good stir before throwing in 200 grams of cream cheese. And as you can see, I just added a touch more milk just to loosen the mixture, make it nice and creamy and saucy. But keep stirring until all the cheese has been incorporated. And then you wanna throw in about 200 grams of your choice of macaroni-style pasta. Give that a mix and you want to cook this through very slowly as to not burn the flour, but for about 20 minutes. But when it's ready, transfer it into your vessel of choice. As you can see, mine's nice and creamy and I had to stop myself from eating it right away. And it, uh, oh, uh, my spatula broke. Um, get back on that, you. And for the nachos, I chose to use Doritos, the cheesy flavor, because I wanted an extra cheesy flavor. So just scatter them across the top, lay over some more freshly grated mozzarella, Top with the beautiful beef chili, more cheese, and more cheese, and more cheese. And then we're going to bake this at 180 degrees for about 20 minutes. You might want to turn the oven on to broil for the last five minutes just to get that cheese nice and crispy on top, like this. Then to serve, just throw in some freshly diced tomato and onion salsa. This will be mixed with a touch of lemon and soy, some freshly made guacamole, and make sure you put a generous amount of guacamole. And then just drizzle over a generous amount of sour cream. Top it off with some jalapenos, and there you go. Nacho topped macaroni and cheese. How incredible is that? This is literally comfort food at its most comforting. Look at that cheese string as you bring up the nachos. That's what you need in nachos, is the cheesy, stringy meltiness. And of course this is good. You know, salsa, cheese, meat, macaroni, more cheese, and, and then more cheese. Of course it's good. Oh, and you are coming with me. No, oh, ah, oh it's hot. Uh, okay, uh, use a cloth, mate. You need to try this one, especially with a big group of people. I wouldn't recommend eating this all on your own. Please hit the like button, subscribe button, do all that stuff, and I will see you in the next one.